What's up guys, I'm Zay11, and if you don't already know, this tech year, we've already had one big release so far, and that happened in literally the first month of the year with the Galaxy S21 launching. I think this might be the first time ever that Samsung released a phone in the beginning of the year. So hearing that shocking event in the beginning of the year, kind of made me think of what tech am I really excited for coming this year? So here we are now. This video is gonna be my top tech that I'm excited for for this year. And without further ado, let's just hop right into it. Okay, so first things first, this item that I'm actually really excited for could potentially shock some people if you've known me for a long time. You know that I'm really more of an Android guy. However, I am really excited for the iPhone 13 launch this year. The reason I say that is because this year, iPhone is releasing a couple of different iPhones this year like they did last year with the iPhone 12 lineup. However, one of these phones this year will actually become portless. So essentially what portless would mean this phone wouldn't have a charger port at the bottom of the phone. This phone will solely rely on wireless charging to actually charge the device. To see Apple do something like this with a phone is actually really shocking because I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this could potentially be the first phone without a charging port on the phone. We've already seen this so far because Apple has already taken off the home button off the screen and they also took out the headphone jack within their phones. It will sooner or later when they'll take off the charging port and I personally believe that eventually the volume buttons and the power buttons might actually come off as well. For people who don't know, the original reason why Apple took off the headphone jack was because it'll make the phone more water resistant without having the exposed port on the phone. However, they still had the charging port at the bottom of the phone so that didn't really help that that much in my opinion, but they're working towards making a water resistant phone and the first step was to take off the headphone jack. Then eventually, the home button came off of the phone and started doing face ID and then that became a big hit and then now we're in a pandemic and then the face ID is not working that much. So we'll see what Apple does with that as well this year too. There are more rumors this year talking about Apple making a in-screen fingerprint quote unquote i'm more excited on the fact that this phone won't have a charging port i won't get too in depth on it because this can literally be a whole rant of a video but i'm sure some of you guys already see some problems with having a phone that does not have a charging port but i'm just excited to see how apple is going to be launching this portless phone this year okay so the second item that i'm actually really interested in is actually something that doesn't technically have a name for it yet. It's by this company called Injurious Wattup. So essentially what they're making is a device that can charge phones wirelessly without it being on like a pad or something like that. The idea is to be able to grab your phone and then just like set it on a table and then the hub, which is actually has like a little device, is gonna send power from the hub straight to the device wirelessly there's so many times where i have to put my phone on a wireless charger and i have to keep moving it around because it just won't hit the wireless charger for a hub to just be sitting in one place and sending power out and have it charge that seems about right to me i do have a few questions about this product though of course because 5g came out this year or 5g came out last year and people were talking about the radioactivity and, and all this other stuff. I'm shocked to see how this company would come to face that and how would sending power out through the air, how would that affect the human body if also it walks like through the contact of that? I also wonder, can this device go through walls and stuff as well too? Of course, there are a lot of questions about this thing. I have a lot of questions about it. I'm sure you guys have a lot of questions about it as well. Truthfully, if it goes on Kickstarter and it actually starts selling out, I would actually buy one. And if I buy one, I'll definitely make a video about it because I'm really intrigued on this. The next item I'm sure you guys probably already know is gonna be on this video, but the Google Pixel 6 is supposed to be coming out this year and I am really, really excited for this phone. Okay, so here's my thing about Google. Google, when they released the Pixel 4, this was in kind of a bust of the year, according to Marquez Brownlee and a couple other different YouTubers as well. They were saying that this phone was really, really bad for the price. I think it started off at like 
$799. So the Pixel 4 wasn't really, really a good phone. But to me, it was one of the best phones I've ever had. I loved it to death and I still love it to this day. However, the Google Pixel 5 came out the year after, which was last year, and it came at $100 cheaper than the Google Pixel 4 with a lower processor, but a better camera and a better software experience for me personally. And I think the biggest thing would probably be the fingerprint scanner. I made a video about the phone already, so you can go ahead and watch that. There aren't a lot of leaks for the Google Pixel 6. However, there are leaks talking about the Google Pixel 5 Pro could be potentially coming out this year. And also the Google Pixel 5a. So the 5a is supposed to be the budget friendly version of it. Of course, they made the Pixel 3a, the 4a. I think it's only right to keep the trend going and make the 5a, especially knowing that the pandemic that's going on and stuff like that. I think the 5a would probably be a good thing to sell at a market like this. But if this is true, then we'll be getting technically like three phones this year. The Google Pixel 5a, the Google Pixel 5 Pro, and the Google Pixel 6. I haven't seen any like leaks about the specs between all three of these devices. However, that's not stopping me from being excited for this phone. Cause if you know me, I'm a big Google Pixel boy. I'm actually a big Google fan in general, to be completely honest. But Pixel 6, I'm excited for this phone. <laughs> On to the next thing that I'm excited for. Um, this really isn't a tech thing, but it kind of is a tech thing at the same time. It's the Cybertruck that Tesla's coming out with late 2021. This car, now that I'm actually like seeing it over again, this reminds me of something of Cyberpunk. Maybe because it's called the Cybertruck and I just put a change the truck with the punk cyber truck i'm actually really really excited for i'm not really into cars that much i like the design a lot truthfully i like this design and it's a unique design that i've never seen before or that none of us has actually seen before really so to see this car actually go on the road and like to see how the feedback and the response of this vehicle might be i'm actually kind of excited for that too so okay and the final thing that i would say that i'm really excited for this year i kind of already made a video about it already so i'm gonna just leave it up here in the top right but i'm excited for the kf console i don't know if you guys saw the video or not if not, I made an entire video talking about this item and I'm gonna leave it right here. One of these things in like a little white bar thingy. However, the KF console, I'm really, really excited for if this is true, of course, because this will be the first console that actually cooks a food and plays games at the same time. The specs that we've been leaked out with for this device has been incredible. This device, this garbage can of a device looks amazing and i really really want to try this out because i have so many questions about it i'm really really excited for the kf console as well too okay so that's been my tech that i'm excited for for the year of 2021 if you guys can agree with me or have any other tech that you're excited for definitely leave in the comments below i definitely want to see what tech are you guys excited for because I mean, this is a tech channel and we talk about tech and I love tech so much. It's something that's gonna be with us for the rest of our lives, I would say so. But that's all for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, it's been Zay11. Peace.